Thanks a lot. first couple of days, I figured I'd be home in a week if my luck held out this way. But the third night, I got stranded in a cold, lonely crossroads. And the rain was pouring down, and I was hungry, tired, and freezing, and I caught myself a chill. Just about that time, the lights of the an old semi atop the hill. And you should have seen me smile when I heard them air brakes come on. And I climbed up into that cab where I knew it'd be warm. And at the wheel sat a big man. He must have weighed 210. He stuck out a big hand and he said with a grin, Big Joe was the name. This air rig's called Phantom. 309. When I asked him why he called his rig such a name, he said, son, this here rig be putting them all to shame. Cause ain't a driver on this or any other line that's seen nothing but the taillights of Big Joe and Phantom 309. So we rode and we talked the better part of the night. I told my stories and he told his until the lights of the truck stop rolled into sight. He said, I'm sorry, son, but this is just about as far as you go. I gotta be making a turn just up the road. And he tossed me a dime as he threw her in low. He said, have yourself a hot cup of coffee at home, Big Joe. And when Joe and his rake pull off into the night, man, nothing flat that would clean out of sight. And I walked into the old stop and I ordered me up a cup of Joe and I said, Big Joe sent me a... But it got so quiet in that place, you... You could have heard a pin drop. And I said, what's the matter? I, I, I say something wrong? I kind of said with a halfway grin. She said, no, it'll happen every now and then. You see, every driver in here knows Big Joe. But let me tell you what happened just 10 years ago. Out there at a cold, lonely crossroads. There was a whole busload of kids coming from school. And they were right in the middle when Joe topped the hill. And they would have been slaughtered except Joe turned his wheels. And he jackknifed and he went into a skid and gave his life to save that bunch of kids. Out there at that cold, lonely crossroads was the end of the line for Big Joe and Phantom 309. But every now and then, just like you, some hitchhiker would be coming by. Joe would stop and give him a ride. So here, son, have a hot cup of coffee on the house. You keep that dime. It is a souvenir of Big Joe and Phantom 309. 